Hi, my name is Paul Yip. I'm a Big Insights product manager, and today I'm going to talk about how Big SQL makes access to Hive data faster and more secure. So first off, I want to stress the importance of SQL on Hadoop. In particular, SQL allows us to expose our data to a broad set of users with skills that are readily in the market, and a massive ecosystem of tools like Cognos that allows us to get immediate value out of our data to visualize our data, to do analytics on our data. So these are the latest visualizations I'm showing here from Cognos Rave Engine, and uh, they're pretty spectacular. Hope you check it out. Now I said that Big SQL makes access to Hive data faster and more secure. So I wanna bring some clarity to that. When we talk about the relationship between Hive and Big SQL, we have to go one level deeper to show how Hive is really three things. Hive is an SQL execution engine, and that's open source. Hive is a storage model defined by the Hive project, and Hive also defines a metastore where we keep information about our tables. The reason why Hive is important to the Hadoop ecosystem is because it is the de facto standard. Every distribution includes Hive, and it was the first SQL engine for Hadoop. That's why the Hive storage model and the Hive metastore are considered very, very open, and many applications leverage it. What we want to show you is that we're providing an alternate execution engine that sits side by side with Hive. Big SQL provides a native C, C++ engine that runs over the same Hive storage model and uses the same Hive metastore. And so applications just have to choose which execution engine they want to connect to. And just by changing our connection to Big SQL, we get all the benefits of a C, C++ engine. So, okay, why would I ever want to do that? So we set out to show the benefits of Big SQL over Hive from an execution engine perspective. We set up two equivalently configured clusters of 20 nodes each, and we ran the latest version of Hive and the latest version of Big SQL to run the TPC DS workload. TPC stands for Transaction Processing Council, and DS stands for Decision Support. It is an industry standard workload that database vendors have used over the last decade to show the value of their technology. The TPCDS workload defines 99 queries that are to be executed. And these queries are representative of real life queries that a business might run for decision support. Here I'm showing the results of Hive versus Big SQL um, for queries one through 24B. Now in this chart, lower is better. And you can see that Big SQL is far outperforming Hive on the same queries. In fact, in some cases, Big SQL is over 100 times faster than Hive. Here are queries 25 through 50, and I'm not going to dwell too long on each of these queries. If you want to pause on any of these slides, you're free to do that. And here's results for queries 76 through 99. So let's summarize. In 99 out of 99 queries, Big SQL was significantly faster. On average, actually, we were 21 times faster. And just to show that there's no skew in this data, we removed the top five and the bottom five results, and still, Big SQL was 19 times faster overall. Now, actually, we set out to run 10 terabytes for this TPCDS workload. And unfortunately, only Big SQL could run the workload. So we thought what we would do is compare Big SQL at 10 terabytes versus Hive at one terabyte. And here are the results. So even though Big SQL had 10 times more data to process over, it was still faster in 89 out of 99 queries. And on average, Big SQL was still 3.8 times faster than Hive. And just to remove SKU, taking away the bottom five and top five results, Big SQL was still 3.2 times faster on 10 times the amount of data. So now I'm gonna show a demo, one that we originally prepared for the Strata and Hadoop World Conference in New York. This is the actual environment that we set up with 20 nodes for the benchmark. So here we have Big SQL, and we have Hive, and we have a selection of queries that we extracted for this, for this demonstration. So we are in a Cognos environment, so here are the Rave visuals that I extracted for the presentation, and so I encourage you to check out Cognos. So because this was prepared for the Strata conference, we had to choose a selection of queries that would complete in a reasonable amount of time. So for example, if there's a query that ran 45 minutes, we weren't gonna do that in a live demo. Uh, so these, that's how we chose the queries. 
So here's query number nine for Hive. I'm going to run this. And it doesn't matter which order I run them in because we will actually track on the right hand side here how long the query ran for. So I'm going to click query number nine here on Big SQL and let that run. See that Hive is still running. And here are the results. What I can do now is refresh our table here. And we can see here that this query took 28 seconds. Over on the Hive side, it is still running. So I might as well go and kick off query number 12. And that query is done. We can refresh this and see how long it took. That one there, there took 5.4 seconds. Check out Hive. Looks like it's still running. So why don't I keep running here, query 21. And that's done. Hive is still running. So let's go to 41. And it's done on Hive side. Looks like it's still running that first query. So let's keep going. Let's see where I'm at here. I've just run 41. So let's run 53. And that's done. Let's see Hive, it's still running. And that's done. Hive is still going. So let's go run 71. And while I'm at it, I'm just gonna refresh this here to see how we're doing. You can see how quickly these queries are running. 4.2 seconds, 9.3 seconds. And this is over a terabyte of data. And that's done. Let's refresh that. 71 took there 13.5 seconds. Hive is still running, so let's go to 86. Now I'm almost three quarters through my workload and Hive is still running that first query. And that almost came back instantaneously. Let's do 90. Check on Hive, still running that first query. And it's done. Let's take a look here. So that took 5.1 seconds. Let's run our last query, 96. And that's done. So I'm through my entire workload now on Big SQL. And Hive is still going. Now we know actually from a previous execution that that took 240 seconds. And it's fairly consistent, around 240 seconds. We've run it multiple times here. So as you can see, the performance of Big SQL is significantly better than Hive. And if you're a data analyst looking at lots of data, running lots of different queries, it helps that we're getting the best possible performance. It's also good to know that Big SQL is great with lots of users. We actually did this test on an older version of Big SQL. This is Big SQL version 3. And we're showing here Big SQL running with 96 concurrent users running TPCDS. The other thing we're showing is the benefits of a technology that's exclusive to Big SQL called Workload Manager, or simply WLM. When you have many users running queries against the environment, running short, medium, and long queries, it's important to prioritize the queries based on what resources are available at any given time. And Big SQL has the most advanced workload manager available on the market today. So here we're showing 96 concurrent users running with and without WLM to show the value of Workload Manager. And of course, with all this great performance, it's good to know that Big SQL also makes access to your data more secure. Role-based access control allows us to define robust security models to match how our businesses are organized. Role-level security allows us to have very fine-grained control over who can see which data within the single table. Column level security allows us to protect the most sensitive of our data while allowing users to access the table. So for example, I may have a column that contains very sensitive data, but only specific users who've been granted to see that sensitive column can see that data. For all other users, we can mask it out. And finally, we have separation of duties. 
And this is really important for operationalized environments. Typically, we have different people in different roles to support the environment. So we may have a security administrator who we want to manage security, and that person is different from the person who's going to manage patches and managing the service. We typically have a super user who's going to start and stop the environment, manage patches, but wouldn't it be nice if we can allow that person to do their job, but also restrict their access to the data? So we define a database administrator role who can manage the environment but not see the data. We can also define a workload manager role as someone who can manage the priorities of workloads, but again, not see the data. And there are many other kinds of duties we can define, but those are the most popular. So just to recap, Big SQL is just an alternate execution engine for your Hive environment. It preserves the Hive Metastore and preserves the Hive storage model. Your applications simply need to change where they want to connect through. In this way, Big SQL makes Hive faster and more secure. Thank you.